Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. Ate for telling my parents they won't be living with us? I'm 100% upfront about how things are gonna go with my parents, and now everyone's losing their minds about it. Quick background. My family is originally from South Asia, but we've been living in the US for a long time. Growing up, it was clear my parents adored my older brother and just kind of tolerated me. They had this expectation that I'd stick around, take care of them, and basically support my brother too. Yeah, that wasn't gonna fly with me. I worked my butt off to get out of that situation. I managed to snag a partial scholarship to a state school, worked throughout undergrad, and even got a full scholarship for my postgrad degree. I graduated with just a small amount of debt and two degrees in hand. I found a career I love and married an amazing guy who's got my back through all of this. Now, let me paint a picture of my brother. My parents paid for his education, and he's doing pretty well for himself financially. The thing is, he decided to have five kids, all of whom go to private school and are loaded up with extracurriculars. His wife? She's a stay-at-home mom with a nanny. I get it, five kids are a handful, but she's also got a degree and they've chosen to live on one income. Whatever their choice. Fast forward to now, my husband and I are expecting our first kid. We've planned things out and decided two kids are enough for us, and once we're done, my husband's getting a vasectomy. We're completely on the same page about our future, no surprises. But my parents? They've decided they're selling their house and moving in with us. We've got a big place on the West Coast with an in-law suite, but I made it clear to my husband that I do not want them living with us. Thankfully, he agreed. So I told my parents no, and they hit me with, but we already listed the house, and a good daughter would take care of her parents in their old age. To which I responded, if you give me all the money from selling your house, I'll find you a nice retirement home and cover all the bills until you pass away. Yeah, they weren't exactly thrilled with that offer. They called me ungrateful and said it was my duty. So, I sent them a check that would cover a year's worth of rent, food, utilities, basically everything they'd need. I also reminded them that they were responsible for me up until I turned 18, and since I moved out at 19, they're all set. Then I told them not to contact me again without going through my lawyer. Since then, I've been dodging constant attempts from them and extended family members, both in the States and back home, who are calling me an asshole. My brother even chimed in, saying I'm making the family look bad by refusing to take them in. I gave him an ultimatum, either take them in himself, or never bring it up again, or else I'm going no contact with him too. Now I'm sitting here wondering, was I too harsh? Does standing my ground make me the asshole here? I should probably add that they didn't approve of me marrying a person not from their culture and religion. So they didn't contribute to our wedding even though they did attend. Aite for telling my niece why we can't come to her birthday. I've been with my husband for 10 years, married for five. He's an incredible man, but his past is seriously heartbreaking. When he was born, his mom had eclampsia and ended up hemorrhaging, which caused her and his twin sister to pass away. My husband survived after spending some time in the NICU. His dad, though? He blamed my husband for their deaths. Told him it was his fault they didn't make it. The only people who really cared for him were his grandparents, but they passed away when he was just eight. After that, his dad's abuse only got worse, blaming him for everything. For 10 years, he was told day in and day out that he was the reason everyone died, and he had no one to tell him otherwise. When I met him, he was finally starting to heal. He'd moved away from his dad and was getting the therapy he desperately needed. But he carried a huge weight with him, this fear that maybe his dad had been right all along. My family always liked my husband, especially my nieces and nephews. He was amazing with them, and they adored him. Everything was fine, until January 2020. I was pregnant, and when we went in for a scan, we found out I had miscarried. The moment my husband heard that, it was like something inside him broke. He just unraveled, completely fell apart. He started doing this manic laugh that was also a sob, like he was in some sort of shock. He ran out of the room, and I followed him, worried out of my mind. My mom and sister both work at the hospital. My sister's a nurse, and my mom works at the gift shop, and they saw him at his lowest, in the middle of this breakdown, completely out of it. 
medical staff had to intervene because he was so hysterical. It was the most terrifying moment of my life, and for him, it was the worst thing he's ever experienced. And what did my family do? They judged him. They judged him for laughing. Even though they knew what he'd been through, they told the rest of the family. And suddenly, my husband was labeled as dangerous and unstable. They didn't want him around the kids anymore. My husband was already broken, but that made everything so much worse. He ended up under the care of a psychiatrist who said he needed more help than just therapy. It wasn't just trauma, it was a serious mental health issue. But instead of supporting him, my family distanced themselves. They didn't want him around, claiming a man who could laugh at his wife's miscarriage shouldn't be trusted around children. I told them straight up that I wasn't going to leave him behind, no matter what they thought. My husband's doing much better now. He's been through intense treatment and has come a long way. He still feels guilty, guilty for his reaction that day, for not addressing his issues sooner, and for the fact that my family wants nothing to do with him now. He's working hard every day to get better, but it's still a struggle, especially knowing the people he thought accepted him now fear him. But despite everything, he's hopeful, and that's a good sign. The thing is, my nieces and nephews still love him. They used to say he was their favorite person, and honestly I don't think that's changed. But since my family doesn't want him around, we've been missing all the family events. No birthday parties, no holidays, nothing. He's working on himself and I'm sticking by him but it's been hard. Now, here's where things get tricky. My niece, who's turning 12, is having her first big party since COVID, and she called me, excited, asking why she hadn't seen us on the guest list. I told her we wouldn't be able to come, and she got upset, asking why we never show up anymore, why we've missed so many things. She's a smart kid, and I knew this was gonna come up eventually, so I was honest with her. I told her the truth that my husband isn't welcomed by the other adults in the family anymore. Well, she wasn't having it. She yelled at her parents and my parents, and now I'm getting all this heat for telling her the truth. My family saying I had no right to tell her, but what was I supposed to do? Let her think we didn't care about her birthday. I knew she'd be sad, but I didn't expect her to go off like that. Still, I didn't want her to believe we just didn't want to be there. I know I might have handled it differently, but at some point, my nieces and nephews were going to start feeling like we didn't want to be around. And that's not true at all. So, did I mess up? Was I wrong for telling her the truth? Or am I justified in letting her know why we've been missing from her life? Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.